Hey, what's up guys? Another nice day out here at the range. Real muggy today. Just got it done raining. So the black flies are out and they got teeth. Anyways, I got a couple of firearms out here today. Just another regular day at the range. I got the AR-556, which is a Ruger AR-556. I'm running .223 through it. Right here I got a Remington 870 Super Magnum. I got a Magpul pump on it, pump grip. I got an ATI pistol grip with a six-point adjustable stock. Here I have an advanced tactical mil-spec AR-15. has a Magpul ergonomic grip on it <clears throat> and a six-point adjustable stock. Well, I'm going to run some through. Start with the one on the end, go to the shotgun, then go finish with that one. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Happy 4th of July weekend. Be safe. Don't drink and drive. Have a good weekend, ladies and gentlemen, and where the fuck you claim to be. Shotgun hurts. How'd I do? Not bad. I aimed a few for the the first time I was going for center mass. Yep. Then I went with the shotgun and then I went with the head for the other one. You got one on the ear, one to the left, but everything else is on the head. Oh, I missed? One of them. Yeah, I was shaking a little bit more after that shotgun blast. I felt it. Remington 870 Super Magnum takes up to a three and a half inch shell. I'm running two and three quarters through it because I'm using the cheap target load, cheap bird shot. But it's really nice. I like the the grip. I was having problems with the grip before because my hand would I'd get sweaty and my hands would slip. But now I got this one easier to control. And the six point adjustable stock that I put on it with the uh, hand grip. Has a better has a better stock pad too, a real real cushion pad. But still, as soon as the shock, I got this like ammo pouch character carrier, and I put some foam inserts down in there. Because when you're holding, it, you're aiming down the sight, and you got your cheek on it. When you blast it, it shakes your jaw and it rattles your teeth. So I put the pad on that motherfucker. But so far they're all running good. This is a Remington 870 Super Mag. I breech load it, put one in there, do that. And you take four in the tube. Because New York State, 
You only have four in the tube and one in the chamber. But this is the, right in here is a, they call it a magazine tube. And I made a little modification myself because right here the bolt, the pump release, the action release, right there has a really sharp part on it. So I just took a little piece of duct tape and wrapped it around. So you can see it was real sharp. It was digging into my finger. I don't know if you, it does a little bit, but after you're doing it a couple times, it'll dig your finger up pretty good. So I put my own on there. I don't know why another problem I don't like with it is that it's on the left hand side. So if you're doing that, you have to take your hand off the bang button and go back over here and re reach all the way around or take your hand off the pump and then do it like that, but then you can't pump it. So, I mean, so they could fix it. Well, Remington says, hey, we've been doing this since the 1800s this way. We just keep doing it. Here we go. Thanks for watching. Wolverine! All clear? Here's a brief in our mission while we put that target back up. It's been raining, so the board's a little wet. And we're back. Hey, what's up, guys? Over here, just got the AR-15. We started doing some blasting on this 4th of July weekend. I really hope everybody have a safe, happy 4th of July weekend. Not many too, not too many people got crazy, ended up in jail or in the hospital. I hope. You guys, chill with your shit out there. Thanks for watching. My wife asked me what's the difference between the two uh, parts on the front, the muzzle brakes. This is a flash suppressor. It suppresses the suppresses the flash, but adds a little bit more of the um, 
recoil to the weapon. So it's not as loud and you don't get that bright uh, red flash out of the front so it doesn't interfere with your aiming. Your uh, Compensate for your recoil so you can aim down the scope uh, faster. But this one, this one has a compensator on it which doesn't care about the, the flash but it compensates for your uh, recoil more. So it shoots a more of a flash, more of the, more of the, um, like the tiny explosion that happens when you're shooting the round out, shoots all the power out the front. So it's louder and it has more of a flash and a flare. But it doesn't have as much recoil as say the other one might would, might but have. Hmm. Nice. And now you know, and knowing is half the battle. Always practice firearm safety. Have a happy rest of your 4th of July weekend. Stay out of trouble. Don't fuck around too much. And be safe out there. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. This is why you need to wear a shoulder pad. No.